Hi and welcome back to my channel Faraday Academy. If you are anything like me and trying to improve yourself all the time, especially as this is a new year, then I highly recommend you checking out the six resources that I go over in this video to become a better programmer in 2020. If you're new here, my name is Gwen and this channel is dedicated to making programming tutorials and content to help new developers and also developers that are looking to grow and better themselves. So if you are into that kind of thing, then please subscribe for more. So the first resource that I recommend is a book called The Linux Command Line, published by No Starch Press. Now this book takes you through step-by-step step from beginner to advanced topics all about Linux commands. It's really a great resource and I recommend going through the whole book the first time and then using it as a reference thereafter. And yes, every developer should learn this. Even if you use Windows, Microsoft is now the number one distributor of Linux in the world with Windows 10 coming with a full Linux kernel. So yes, it's extremely important and will be useful as an application developer whether you work in mobile, desktop, web, you work for a large company, a small company, if you freelance, or if you're just trying to host your personal projects on DigitalOcean or a cloud provider like AWS. Knowing basic Linux commands is also a prerequisite, I think, for learning some topics that are becoming more necessary as developers, like using containerization such as Docker and many SDKs. The material is great, there's a lot of examples to follow along with. And especially if you're trying to graduate from the beginner to the intermediate stage, I think this is one of the first things you should look at. So number two is also a book called The Pragmatic Programmer, which I actually have behind me here. The subtitle is From Journeyman to Master, which I think pretty much sums up how the book helps you start thinking more deeply about how to code or how to write programs past a beginner level. This really helped me level up my code from the beginner stage where I was a learner or a journeyman to becoming more of a mid-level developer. It goes over dry programming or don't repeat yourself, documentation, how to build projects, all sorts of stuff. And yes, while it was written about 20 years ago, it's still extremely relevant for today. They did actually just come out with a 20th anniversary edition, which I have not purchased yet. And apparently it has more tips and updated code samples. Like I said, this one is extremely relevant, but I am going to purchase the new one in the next few months and read it over and see if it's worth recommending for people to upgrade. The next book I highly recommend you read is one you have probably heard about, which is Clean Code. Now the premise of this book is that we write code once and then it gets read 10, 100, or even a thousand times. So it's in our best interest to write clean and readable, well-organized code the first time. And this book goes over all of the tips and tricks and principles to help you start to write cleaner code that will be much easier to maintain and have a longer lifespan. It covers quite a broad range of topics, most notably naming conventions, having as few comments as needed because everything is properly named, as well as programming in such a way that functions do one thing and are kept short and composable. There are also good sections on error handling and many other topics. This book is also 10 years old, but filled with great recommendations and I think it's aged very well. The code examples are in Java and I think they're pretty easy to read if you're not comfortable with them, then they have been translated into JavaScript as well as Python and other languages and you can find those code translations if you search on GitHub. So yes, that's a classic book and I think it's just a must read for anyone learning and trying to improve their programming skills. Now that's all for books. Now I have three other types of resources that I think are also great if you're trying to improve. This next one is an online course called CS50, which is available absolutely for free on its own website, as well as edX educational platform. This course takes you through the basics of data structures and algorithms and the principles behind computer science, and you do it in Python and in C. Now, even if you are, let's say, a JavaScript programmer, 
I highly recommend going through this course and using the languages that they use. I think it's helpful to try out different languages and be able to compare and it's going to give you a broader perspective and more understanding of building software projects in general. I also want to say that the teacher for this course is fun to watch. He's definitely not dry or boring. He keeps these, you know, somewhat difficult topics very fun breaks them down to where they're pretty easy to understand. And I think just all in all, he does a really good job. So I highly recommend you check out this course. The next one is the algorithms course on Khan Academy. Now I think this one does a really good job walking you through the basics of how to go about solving algorithms, takes you through the common types of algorithms, like different types of sorting and searching, as well as some more advanced topics. And I think it's a really well put together course a lot of people are nervous about algorithms or think they're only for math whizzes, but I think as programmers and when we're trying to improve, I think it's really important to understand performance, algorithms, O notation, things like that. So I highly recommend this course. I definitely found it very helpful when I went through it a while back. Now I saved the most fun one for last. I went through this course, it must have been three or four years ago, as I was trying to get a deeper understanding of how the underlying systems worked beyond the abstraction of the languages that I was programming in. This course, NAND to Tetris, takes you through all the steps from Boolean logic to machine code to finally putting a pixel on the screen. It was excellent. I had a lot of fun doing it. I'm really considering going back through this course this year as I review a lot of these topics and it's full of great information to let you understand all of the systems beneath the abstraction of the browser or the OS or whatever you're working with when you build applications. And I think it's good to understand these things, even if the abstraction that you work in lets you forget about all these other software layers. So yeah, these are the six resources that I recommend for leveling up your software game. If you have more resources that I didn't mention here, please leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, and share it. That really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. If you are learning to code yourself, if you are a new developer, then I did write a book on this topic that I published a few months ago called Learn to Code, Get a Job, which is available on Amazon and I will link that below. Thank you so much for supporting this channel and I will see you in the next video. Take care.